welcome back to the channel guys today we have here a 2004 mazda mx5 this car has been brought to me uh, for the dtc p1562 which is the ecu back voltage signal lost or low uh, so after thinking around trying and testing all kinds of wiring i found out that the ecu was drenched in water these cars are famous for uh, water ingress um, because it's convertible and uh, well all the the rubbers with the age they get um, not as watertight. So um, I found out that uh, that there was a lot of corrosion in the ECU in especially in this plug right here. Um, as you can see, the ECU is pretty rusted. Anyway, I opened it, I removed the four bolts there, and uh, inside it didn't look all that bad. So um, I went ahead and uh, made a bypass um, and uh, bypassed the plug itself. So after identifying the, the pin um, for the signal that I need for the ECU, um, I put some flux and then uh, I soldered a wire to that uh, pin. As you can see here, the wire is soldered already. Um, I'm going to put some glue to glue the wire in place just for uh, to avoid vibrations and if it does break the solder or something it doesn't get loose and can damage the ecu so this is the way it's going to go uh, you don't have to cut the, the the box of the ecu or anything there's a little space there you can see the wire goes through really well uh, now i'm going to bolt it up close it down and uh, try it in the car This is the broken wire, it's all corroded inside, so we have to peel the wire back until you find good copper. Uh, copper that is not corroded so that the, the solder can hold. This is the blue with the, um, with the red stripe, it's the wire that comes from the battery or the alternator to the battery, to the ECU, sorry. So this is, um, that part was... Um, Clear, so I uh, tinned it and tinned the wire coming from the ECU as well and um, now I'm going to solder uh, one to the other and uh, make sure you protect it with some um, shrink tube like you see here because this is going to be in a moist area maybe not now but maybe in the future so you, you want to protect that um, solder that you have done So I zip tied the, the wire away, now it's time to try the car and see if the engine light goes out. And as you can see guys, problem solved, hopefully it was helpful for you guys, this took a lot of testing.
So if you like this video, please subscribe. See you next video.